Tim. Good to meet you, Alex. My pleasure. Yeah, Alex. you want to say hi to anybody in Boston? Oh, to all my sisters and relatives. Hi, gang. Isn't that great? It's your brother. <laughs> you grew up there. Yeah, born and raised. Yeah. Somerville, Cambridge, Medford. Do you get back? Yeah, sure. I go back every couple of years, and they come out here. That's great. I got a big Italian family back there. Isn't that nice? Did you like Boston when you were there? Yeah. Have yeah, you ever gone back and worked in any of the theaters? Yeah, I did the Boston Strangler. Oh, you mean it's sure, film? We right. shot on location. The Friends of Eddie Coyle. Now that was fun. Yeah. Right? Shooting in the streets, and <laughs> the drivers were my friends I went to school with, oh. and it was it was it was really fun to go back like Isn't that. Isn't that great? Yeah. You came out here. Did you come out here with aspirations to be an actor? Or? No, not at all. Came out I here. Came, I was a truck driver, bartender in Boston. Uh, I said, okay, I've had it with the cold, and then uh, went to California, started working as a bartender in the early 60s at an actor's hangout, and then I, I, I got a job, uh, a one-liner on Batman, and it paid so much money, I said, the hell with bartending. <laughs> I'm going to try this out. So I studied with Leonard Nimoy, who's from Boston. What a nice man he is. Terrific. And I said, I'm going to take this seriously. Studied uh, for about five years. In those days, I used to talk like, hey, everything okay? You know what I mean? <laughs> so Leonard Nimoy says, get yourself to a speech clinic. So I went, clean up my speech a little bit. I sound like a New Yorker, which is acceptable in this business. It is acceptable. Yeah, so, and knock on wood, things have been terrific. Since the Mo Green in The Godfather, oh, yeah. uh, 20 years ago. Are you doing this for a reason? <laughs> yeah, I got shot in the eye. I know. Yeah, right. <laughs> so it's been good. But the, when you got this part, didn't the, didn't somebody, an agent or someone, call another bartender? Isn't that how that worked? You remember that and story? And you got the call. You took the All call. All right. There was two. There's two bartenders working a very busy bar. Okay. He went to the bathroom or something. And twenty in those days, they used to do that. They said, "Hi, is this guy Arts there?" And I and I and I knew the voice. I, I knew the story that he gets days pay every once in a while on different shows. And I says, no, he's, a, he's on vacation in Mexico, but is this about the Batman show? And he says, yeah. He says, it's, I, says I, I studied in New York, no problem. He told me, the guy said, fine, go to wardrobe. And I lied to get the first job. I'm a no good guy. <laughs> anyway, it works, huh? Yeah, right. Now, I guess, I guess you're such a fine actor and you've done so many things and so many movies and, and uh, different parts, but isn't it great to get an episodic that sounds like this one sounds like it could be so terrific. I mean, the, the elements are incredible. Yeah. James Brooks, Heidi Perlman, Sam Simon. Marsha Mason. Marsha Mason, uh, Margaret Cohen, and the, and the girl, Jamie Good. And as and we... And I'm around 30, all pretty girls. I know, know it. Not it's bad, great. huh? Yeah, not bad. But, you know, as we approach this decade where, where all of a sudden we're starting to think more about family, everybody's settling in a little more. Yeah. I mean, here you've got a show about siblings. What could be better? It's just terrific. I'm very blessed. I really am. Yeah? You and, haven't shot yet now. No. It's like the first week we're really getting to know each other. We had lunch yesterday, and they are so funny. And, and, and we're all just getting to know. Our first show is like next week. And we, we rehearse very hard. They're very professional. And work and have fun at the same time seems to be the key. And of course, uh, Gracie Films, you know, they're just quality writing. Good. And yeah, I, don't, I would imagine that Marsha and the other people that are involved, you, would never have taken it exactly. if it wasn't going to be good writing. Exactly. Um, by the time that Boston sees this, we'll be putting a clip in this interview. So okay. undoubtedly they're going to see your work. So explain. You play Howie? I play uh, Howie Ruzio. I'm a junior, uh, a junior high school history teacher from Weehawken, New Jersey. And very much in love with my wife. And she has two crazy sisters who keep invading my space and my privacy. And... Um, it's a very funny show. Watch great? it. Talk a little about your lifestyle out here. You live in a tiny little town. Called Carpinteria. It's about nine miles from Santa Barbara. So you and drive when you come into work now. How, how much of a No, commute? no, I stay at a hotel or, or, or get a house. I go home weekends. Uh, now it's too much of a schlep to oh, go yeah. back and forth. And uh, we moved 10 years ago. It was the greatest move. My kids grew up. I mean, I could see the ocean from my house. It's oh, avocados. Boy. Oh. No actors, no producers. It's wonderful. Oh, so, and your yeah. wife's into gardening. Yeah, and, and we're very heavy into the Baha'i faith. Uh, yeah, explain a little bit about uh, that. You know, and we're not religious fanatics. We believe in God, and uh, we believe in uh, world unity and family unity is the basis of our religion. And um, it, it really balances me in this business that rather than get caught up in that Hollywood stuff, 
I got to say, hey, thanks, big guy, for keeping me working and keeping me alive. You Isn't know? that great? Yeah. Well, I wish you the best of luck. We're thanks, looking forward honey. to this, Alex. Right. Come back to Boston and see us you there. You got it. All right? Thanks a lot. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. Thanks. We cut.